Welcome to this radio channel. We're going to take a look today, uh, Wednesday, March 21st, uh, first full day of spring, really, um, at, you know, what propagation uh, has for us and what's happening with the sun. So, um, you know, one of the things that happens a lot around the equinox, so, you know, uh, around the spring or so, around March and around September, is that the way the Earth is... Um, in our solar system, the way it's actually positioned in our orbit, um, it kind of helps the um, geomagnetic field to kind of react more to whatever happens with the sun. Now, of course, one of the things that we might think of is, yeah, but there's nothing happening, there's no sunspots and so on, and yeah, pretty much. Still, um, there's been some coronal holes with solar wind gusts that were quite high. And that uh, basically in the past two, three days, the uh, magnetic field has been like, you know, having ups and downs. So you might have great propagation and great, um, you know, the things might be good for a couple of hours. Then suddenly it degrades because the geomagnetic field becomes stormy. We've reached even a, f a few times the G2 level for brief moments. It doesn't last like hours at a time. It lasts for maybe an hour and then uh, comes back to normal. So it's really reacting um, a lot. So, you know, and solar flux 69, as you see here on the left side of your screen, with a blank sun, no sunspots. We've been several days now without sunspots. So, um, you know, doldrums of the uh, minimum of solar activity, of course. So what to expect this week? Well, basically what will be expected, and, you know, you see here um, what they are expecting probabilities of forecast and so on and by the way this is solarham.net great great website to go to to check all of these details is um, great you know some nice propagation but within that there will be some times of higher geomagnetic activity doesn't mean propagation won't be good it might sometimes just shift the propagation towards a different area it's always interesting to tune in even when there's a solar or a, uh, not a solar but a geomagnetic storm because it's surprising sometimes some signals are stronger than usual and you might DX um, you know countries or stations that uh, usually you don't hear it's not a question of you know it makes it worse it's a question that it often just changes propagation characteristics uh, low solar flux of course 69 no sunspot means above 20 megahertz it might not propagate much except with sporadic e-skip and by the way, there have been some reports of sporadic e-skip in the past week, quite a lot through North America and Europe. So that means, you know, don't think about solar activity only. Uh, remember, there are other phenomena that exist that makes the, uh, you know, 10 meter band, for example, open or 11 meters for those that are um, in the uh, out of banders or CV years that, you know, DX. So uh, check it out, even though you might not hear anything. Um, check it out regularly you never know what could happen as for propagation will be of course better on the lower frequencies below 20 megahertz typically in the daytime will be the frequencies that will work and at nighttime the maximum usable frequency of course goes lower uh, fast but as the days get longer in the northern hemisphere we're already starting to see a change in pattern of propagation uh, better nighttime propagation and uh, it's it's a great great time to uh, listen in uh, especially in the late afternoon early evenings local time in your area or even in the early mornings you might uh, find it quite interesting all you can dx so have fun tune those radios and of course we will try to keep you updated with the uh, weekly solar information talking a little bit about what's going to happen and uh, of course uh, tune into our live shows on friday and saturday of this week march 23rd, 24th at 20 hundred hours UTC. And I hope you have fun. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.